Hi, good afternoon everybody. Uh, this is Catherine Pena. I'm recording my week three uh, vlog, video blog for my Obera journey. Um, so this has been a pretty difficult week for me. Um, my other two um, video messages were pretty positive and not that this one isn't going uh, to be positive, but it's it's just going um, to be different. Um, number one, I have not um, I have not uh, lost um, any more weight uh, this week. Um, I um, I seem to have lost inches because I sure am fitting in clothes that I couldn't wear before. I've gone down a full dress size. Um, and as a matter of fact, when my doctor took my um, measurements on Tuesday, um, I had lost quite a, I'd lost several inches in my hips, which that's great. I'm glad that's going first. Um, but um, I, the, the pounds, I'm still at 18 pounds. Um, I had a really scary experience on Sunday. I um, started the day fine, uh, even spent the morning working on some work projects, was really focused, felt good. By about one o'clock in the afternoon, I just, I, something changed and I went to sleep for about three hours. Um, started feeling really full, really sluggish. Um, by dinner time, I was making food for my boys and I said to myself, I can't eat any of this. I'm just, there's just no way. But I knew I needed to eat. I hadn't eaten very much that day. Um, and so I made chicken with wine um, and some rice and some asparagus for dinner and I served myself I'm talking a two-year-old portion size, like about <laughs> two tablespoons of rice and about an ounce of chicken and uh, one asparagus. And I pushed myself to eat those few bites. I mean, that's how full I was. Something was not right with my stomach. And after I ate, um, I just was in pain for hours and I waited too long to text my doctor um, by about 9 30 at night I was in excruciating um, pain um, excruciating pain um, just just like labor I mean my kids didn't know what to do um, and I just, and it was my stomach. And so I thought, well, should I take some pain medication? You know, I texted the doctor, you know, they, he immediately thought, is it another UTI? I'm like, no, I don't think so. That's not where the, the pain is. Um, I don't think this food is moving in my stomach. Um, well, by 10 o'clock at night, my stomach said, this is it. It's not going to go out the right way, so I'm getting it out the other way. And that was, I don't, not sure, even with a stomach virus, I had ever gotten that sick before. It was scary. And, but after my stomach said, I'm getting this out, the pain subsided. I was able to drink a full 16 ounces of water and could feel it going down. I was able to sleep soundly. The pain was gone. I was wiped out. I mean, wiped out. Um, but I was not in pain anymore. So, um, went to get some lab work done the next day. Um, my doctor was still out of town at a conference um, for Orbera. Saw the doctor actually on Tuesday. When I described everything that had happened, he did seem concerned. 
He told me he does not want me to eat cruciferous uh, vegetables anymore. Um, to try to stay away from foods that cause gas. Um, he will do a stomach x-ray if I ever get these type of symptoms again. I not this week. As a matter of fact, I've been hungry. And I've really been having to say to myself, okay, you can't eat that much food, Catherine. Um, I haven't overeaten. Like, today at lunch, I was super, super hungry. And I bought a small, small cup of soup, chicken noodle soup, and a sal a side salad um, and from Chick-fil-A, and I couldn't even touch the salad. I just made it through the half a cup of soup. So my portion sizes are still pretty, pretty l low, um, even though I'm hungry. But it is a good sign that I'm hungry. Um, I really want to start exercising. And this morning I went for a mile and a half walk. Um, the only thing is, is I felt sick after the walk. And tomorrow I'm supposed to go on a 5K run. <laughs> Laugh out loud, don't think I'm doing that. I am taking my son and we'll see if I feel like walking it. Um, I do have my first meeting with the personal trainer this coming Tuesday. So I hope I'm well enough for that um because i really here we go again with my body i'm down 18 pounds my portion sizes are still extremely small and my body's hanging on to this weight it, even when i met with the dietitian uh this week i had my first meeting with my orbera dietitian this week i like her a lot she said yeah your body's gonna hang on to that weight because it's lost a lot of weight very quickly so I need to start exercising, and so I'm hoping I get the clearance to do that. Um, I um, Oh, she also told me to start um, eating some sort of probiotic with every single meal, like a teaspoon of sauerkraut, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a kefir at breakfast, um, so that, you know, it would help with this slow movement thing that I had um, going on last Sunday. Um, but, you know, I still would not go back on this. I'm so very happy that I'm wearing a pair of jeans today that I bought in 2011. And I haven't worn them in a few years. So, was it 2011? It may have been 2013. I bought them in 2013. But I don't think I've worn them again since the summer of 2013. So I'm wearing them again. Like I said, down one size. So I still wouldn't go back, even though I've had some complications. Um, only on week three, so got a long way to go. Um, and again, thank you for all your comments. I'm happy to answer any questions. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you next week.